yeah, so we're pretty much done with this city. We got our super sweet bicycle now, so we're about to go join a biker gang and uh, basically go do some shredding for the most part. I need to register that so I can, ooh, neat. So press the plus button to use it, cool. Well, I can just get on it here. Uh, but safety first, we put on our little helmet and then we head down south. Now I haven't gone this way yet. Um, but, you know, we're about to check out what's what's going on over here. So this is the guy, I think this guy he used to give you like the EXP share, but here, we, you know, it's built in. Uh, you're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Owen's assistant and Don's father. Come a long way um, at the behest of the professor to help you on your adventure. Let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? You've met 44 Pokemon? Wonderful. Yes, bravo. Professor Owen should be delighted. Here's something for you. And we get a rare candy. <laughs> this gives you a rare candy instead of... Instead of the EXP share, but it's, I uh, guess... Just gonna accept accept some candy from a stranger and be on my way. Anyway, um, they let us through because we have a bicycle now. We're about to go do some ripping in a Terran. Uh, this is Route 206, so... We're gonna basically just leave Metacham in front. I think we should be alright with that. Um, Reese's Puff also needs a little bit of a little bit of grinding as well, but everybody else is a nice even 23. Satisfying. So let's uh let's cruise down this way. Now we're getting to the point where um, there's some interesting Pokemon I think to catch in the wild, at least like under the under the cycling place and everything. So freaking Axel. <laughs> this guy's name is Axel. What a what a cyclist name. Axel, love to see it. Alright, Staravia. Nice. What is up with this what is up with this environment though? Why couldn't they hello? Am I battling in purgatory right now? What the? What is this? I don't like it. A lot of it, they're kind of hit or miss with the um, with the battle environments. Either they look really cool or it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, they could have made a cycling road one, right? No, this is pretty much the void. I feel like Spun. I feel like Squidward in that in that one SpongeBob episode. It's like, alone. Geodude must be pretty light to be standing on top of this damn cloud. <laughs> Just all blue up there. Alone's in chat. One more Smackdown's gonna kill it, and so only one Pokemon only had level 17, so we should be pretty good on levels here. We could even um, we could even switch the team up a little bit. I don't know. Who knows? We'll, we'll play it by ear. We'll see how it goes. Special K to level 20. Satisfying. Wants to learn Psybeam. Um, you're not much of a special attacker here, friend. Psybeam's not terrible. Um, I'm probably just gonna get rid of confusing. There we go. All right. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. So what happens? Okay, so am I, what gear am I even in? I can't tell. Whatever. We're just. God damn, you go pretty pretty fast. We should probably. Hello. Should probably battle all the, most of these people. How are you standing on this slope? It seems like a lot of work. I worked up a good sweat riding. I'm feeling great. Let's battle. Let's do it. You guys remember in Hoenn when the victory ro or the victory road the cycling. Road had like a thing where you could like do a, a, a time trial. Actually, it was pretty sweet. Actually, like that. All right, so just a Shinx. Listen, you know you can evolve your Shinx, guy. Level 17. Seems like I did. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna stay in. One more side beam to the Shinx. Shinx in his little pants and cape kind of deal. Look at his little pants. I like Shinx pants. Pebbles of 24, nice. Hey, when can I... When can I get my Pokemon to follow me? Is that hard home? I think it is. Or like diapers? No, no, he's got pants. Meta Metatite has diapers. Alright, I'm just gonna go wherever the wind takes me. Oh, okay, so that one person didn't want to battle me, but you do. You and I, we're both riding bikes. And <laughs> you've got Pokemon, I don't want to lose to you. Yeah, that's... Very good observation here. You are riding a bike too, Nicole. Okay, just a Starly. Still, not. Uh, why can't you evolve your Starlies and Chinxes? Damn it! Something like just smacking down some birds in the middle of the road. Call that roadkill. Cycling roadkill, and you're dead. How can they take off their helmets, but you don't? True, because I keep that thing on me. Ooh, in a Ponyta too. Level 15. That actually wouldn't. I wouldn't be too mad if we found that, even though I do have uh, Monferno already, but. I have found one in the wild, okay. I, I kind of thought I did, but I seem to have fallen off my bike. Oh, jeez, Muriel. I fell off my bicycle. Oh. Yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm just literally just going to let the road take me. It doesn't look like this is sloped, but I assure you, 
We're on a slope. Rapidash has one of the best shinies. I wish he kept. I wish Rapidash kept the blue though. To be honest, um, I really still probably shouldn't. She fell in hate and just leaves without helping. <laughs> I say that's not my problem. See him. All right, again, just providing some roadkill. I still, I really wish that things were evolved, but that's fine. Level 21, what else you got? Oh, okay, there it is, Staravia, nice. Very good. Intimidate's kind of annoying, take a couple smackdowns to kill you, but... You know what I'm thankful for? Hayden's merch. <laughs> Tauros, thank you, buddy. Oh, damn, just dis just destroys the that Staravia, see ya. Little Reese's Puff is too OP. I really feel like I should have named this guy Fruity Pebbles. You know, because he's a rock, but I guess it's fine. Coco, it, it, it works, regardless, but... Continue. We got, I should, man, I'm not even gonna, I should probably like avoid trainers, to be honest. <laughs> I really don't need the levels. I'm not very good at fixing flat tires. Do you have a flat tire? Was that what you were saying? Oh, she's got a Pikachu. Hey, this is the first Pikachu we've seen. I think, right? Have I seen Pikachu yet? I don't believe I have. Level 17. What's up, little guy? You know, it's kind of it's kind of weird that Pikachu is like the only Pokemon that gets its normal cry where it goes Pika. It's like every Pokemon's supposed to do that. Why does why does Pikachu get the special treatment? Damn it! I want them to hire individual voice actors to voice every single Pokemon. Oh, Eevee does too. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we like to see a little bit of variety. I really wish that they would have kept like. They would have added just different trainer Pokemon and wild Pokemon and stuff. I don't see why they needed to be so faithful to the Diamond and Pearl, but I guess it'd be like it'd be. Total Wipeout! Just making people crash left and right. Alright, and that's, you know, pretty much all we're gonna do here in the cycling- Whoa, what the fuck, this thing is hard as hell to control. Alright, we're out. That is the cycling road, ladies and gentlemen. What a rush that was, huh? Hey, what are you doing? You look important, kind of. You have a great bike, so I'd like to give you these great stickers. Sick! Three sky stickers! I like to think that she was like, here's some sky stickers, B. But they were just sky sticker Bs. <laughs> we can add those to our things. Um, nice. Can I audition for Victory Bounce Cry? <laughs> I want to be Electabuzz. So, oh, fuck. What is the... What's the method for getting on and off the bicycle again? Oh. Hey, that's pretty seamless. I like it. So here we are at Route 206. This is actually a pretty beautiful route. I'm not gonna lie, the graphics, I think, they've really kind of grown on me. I think they look great, to be honest. It gives me vibes of like the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which I think they did really well. The only gripe I have is the damn blur. I ran a poll on Twitter yesterday um, asking what they thought of BDSP visually and just to kind of just get some feel, a feel for it. I think we had like 2,000 votes. Like 80% of it said they were, you know, positive about it, so I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I really need to fucking paralysis, man. I haven't bought like any potions because, you know, I'm not healing in battle or anything, but it is nice to have them, but we're gonna, I have a couple. There we are. And there we are. And I have a pair of, dude, my bag, my bag is so sad. I need to go to a mart. I need to buy more Pokeballs probably too. But continuing this way, we're healed up, we're ready to go. We do get a new encounter in this place, so let's cross our fingers for Ponyta because I feel like that's the coolest thing we can get. I actually, can I go into the Gibble Cave? I think we can go into the Gibble Cave right now too. All right, new encounter. Let's see what we can get. Give me a Ponyta. Show me potato salad. <laughs> of course, it's a cricket team. All right, let's see what we can get on this route. It's a Stunky. Okay, I actually really like Stunky. That's pretty neat. All right, boys. So, level 14 Stunky. I kind of want to bring this guy. I, for some reason, Stunky's just a chill little fella. Um, all right, so we've got this baby right where we want him. Come on, Stunky. You're coming with me, Smelly. Easiest catch of my life. I should have used a heal ball. That was a dumb idea. All right, well, we got the Stunky. And that's pretty cool. Um, add you to the old Pokedex, it protects itself by spraying a noxious fluid from its rear. The stench lingers for 24 hours. <laughs> I like to imagine that there was one professor that had to write that Pokedex entry that was like, he had to intentionally get sprayed. Like, yeah, you know how like the first time, like, how did people find out that certain mushrooms weren't edible? They're like, all right, taking notes. He's like, Phil died when he ate that one, avoid. 
And we'll give you a nickname. Um, we're going Applejack on this thing for absolutely no reason at all, but that's gonna be him. Anyway, we're gonna add you to the party as well. So, who are we getting rid of? Who are we gonna just... Thanos. Um, I'm getting rid of Geodude for Stunky. I think that that's a fair trade. We're, leave we're only leaving Cricketune just because Cricketune is my guy. I, I, I gotta protect him at all costs. Uh, so let's take a look at this little guy. Knocked him down to 2 HP. That was pretty lucky. It is docile. So just a neutral nature. It comes with Stench. So by releasing Stench when attacking, this Pokemon may cause the target to flinch. Hey, wait. Has Stench... I forget that Stench has a new, like, effect. Before, it used to just repel wild Pokemon. But now, it actually does something? Um, we don't have any good moves on this thing currently. But we're just going to keep on keeping on with what we've got. And let's go see what's over this way. We have... Uh, the cave as well, but I think we need strength until before we can do anything there So we'll probably hold off of going in there. I, I know that there's only two options for me to get there's onyx and gibble We want to kind of ensure that we're able to get a gibble So I'm not even gonna go in there until you know Are these berries just like not fully grown yet? What is this? No, just Ross berries are just small, I guess For some reason I've always liked this route. I feel like it's probably just because of the is where you get guard chomps and stuff, but It's a cool route. It's a cool route Whoa, you startled me. Well, we may as well battle. Alright, bro. Let's get it. Hiker Theodore. Alright, Teddy. It's a fitting name for a hiker. He just look like a Theodore. Slash Teddy. Look at these big old Onyx. Nothing new. I love how Metacham comes out and he's like meditating, like floating. It's actually pretty cool. I'll give you a low kick. Actually, I should probably heal your special K, but I don't have any damn potions, so... That's where I'm at in life. Also sturdy. God damn it. Binds me, on fort. So we got 10 levels to go until I'm level capped for the next gym. I think there's quite a bit of nonsense to do before then anyway though, but... So we'll probably be just kind of right there when we get to the next gym. And another Onyx, so I'm probably going to need to get the hell out of here. What I need is another water type. Not going to lie, I kind of have always struggled against these damn rock types. Like, it's it's really tough for me. Special K is the only one that can really do it. I think we're probably fine. I, I think we're just going to stay in a low kick. Maybe this one doesn't have sturdy. Hey, don't be sturdy. Thank you. All right, perfect. Onyx dead. Your power startles me. Thanks, Theo. I appreciate you, bro. Okay, I'm actually going to go back and heal and also get some items because my bag is about dry as hell. So, let's do that. Now we're officially back. We're healed. I got items. There's Theodore. Just gonna squeeze by here, Theo. Thank you. Uh, what else is over here? Hello? Ooh, got an item. Okay. A poison barb, which is a generally really useless item unless you're like using fling or something, right? Nice. And then over there's... Uh, so this is a different cave than the one where you find the gibble. This is Wayward Cave? Or wait, is it the same? I think the, the path to get into the one, the good one is like right under the thing. Let's see if I can get in there actually. We're not going to explore in there, but I want to see if I can... It's just the same name, so it's technically the same route. So we want to save our encounter for when we get into this side of the cave. This right here is the good wayward cave, and we can't do anything until we strength, so... Cannot get Gibble quite yet, uh, but we're going to save our wayward, wayward cave encounter for when we can do that. So that pretty much finishes up this area, and then... What's actually really sad is I don't have a fossil to revive, because we can get right back to Orberg really easily by just going down that mudslide, but... Alright, so yeah, if you just go south, you're like, hey, this place looks familiar. Oh. Oh. I forgot about this. Dawn's here. How's my Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. <laughs> this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Choose which hand you want. I think she gives you both. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, Hayden. You know what's important. Okay, do you, don't you still give me both? Right, do you? Using that Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. You also have a Pokedex. Yep, you, you can have this too then. <laughs> like, why give me the option? He's going to give me both. We get the Dowsing Machine. Uh, so that's cool. You can locate unseeable items. We'll tell you that there, if there's an item on the ground that you can't see. So that's pretty cool. Nice. She just stops by. She just gives us a couple things and then just waddles on out. So <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, so this is... Orberg, essentially, we can run down that thing, but you need the bicycle to go back up it. And But now we're back in Orberg, so we're gonna, while we're here, we're gonna catch a nice little heal. We would revive a fossil if I had one. Insert freaking Fairly Odd Parents meme. We can go up this here mudslide with the bicycle. God, this bicycle is annoying to control. Whoa! Holy! <laughs> okay. 
That was weird. Um, there we go. Hey, I'm gonna put some honey on this tree. Now, I realize I forgot about the other honey that I put, and that's because um, I just forgot. But I think you get like an encounter after six hours, and then after 24 hours, I think they go away. They eat all your honey, and then they bail. So you gotta kind of be on top of it. But Anyway, over here we got a double battle. Can I just not do that? I'm gonna talk to you. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best, too. This hiker's hat just right in the damn way. All right, Camper Anthony got one Pokemon. What you got for me, Camper? Hey, it's another Pony Tom. They're like, we take any fire types we can get around here. One more beam right to the flames, and finally, at long last, Ponyta dead. Anyway, now we'll, now we'll go for you. Hello? Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard, too. <laughs> Alright, Picnicker Lauren here. I love just separating these, these little Picnicker duo. Come on now. Seems a little worried. Oh my god, no. We're starting to finally get to the point where I think, like, you remember in, like, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee when, like, your Pokemon would die? Or it was, like, gonna get knocked out by a hit, but they're like, it lived it because it loves you and it doesn't want you to cry or something. I think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that happens in this. Um, the higher your friendship is on certain Pokemon, the more they'll do that. Um, which, I really wish you could just turn off. It is really dumb that they do that, but... Like, who asked for that, you know? Got a nicely placed item right there, a little super potion. Looks like someone missed the... Are these trash cans? Someone missed the... That's a vent that exchanges air from the Grand Underground. Oh. Hmm. I don't think I've ever really thought about that, that those are vents. Well, hey, cool. Uh, we got a hiker here, and Stunky's in front, but we're just gonna switch train. That's fine. I just got through Mount Cornet, but we've still got fuel in the tank. Nice. Um, we got Bronzor here. I don't really like you. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh yes, more cards, yes. You buy more merch, and I can just turn all of that money into more Pokemon cards, and then more content. Bug. Still very pleased with my Keep It Slow Paul shirt. That's a great one as well. One of my, that's definitely one of my favorite, uh, that's probably second favorite to the, the current Bowen merch. Okay, so in to Cornet, we are, uh, yeah, it's Mount Cornet, right? Mountain's freaking huge. So, uh, here we are, Mount Cornet. Um, we've already got our encounter in this place, so we never have to worry about that again. Look at how beautiful this still water is. I want to touch it. Um, so, we go over this. I think we actually get a little run in with um, with the guy. Here he is. <laughs> his, mo his model is so ridiculous. I cannot take this guy seriously ever. According to one theory, Mount Corn is where the Sinnoh region began. I love how this guy just like meets me at the stairs and he's like, hey, by the way, a little fun fact about this place. Uh oh. Spooky is here. Spooky, look at the camera. Look up here. Yes. <laughs> Look at his face. It's not focusing on him though, because my face. Yes. Focus on the zoo. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. Sir, I am 10 years old and this is Wendy's. But what became of that world? Why didn't you have any eyebrows either? <laughs> I hate him. Right, because the human spirit is weak and incomplete. Strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. I'm like, all right, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm like, okay, well, thanks, guy. Can you get out of my way? Listen, I'm trying to like go catch some like animals. Um, it's also upsetting that there wasn't an item on that. Uh, so we can't get over to that item over there, which is also upsetting. So we're just gonna take our little stroll on out of here and then boom, that was our cave journey. And here we are, Route 208. Ooh, this route be looking cool. Water looks nice. I remember this right. I remember this route particularly because I'm pretty sure I've lost a Pokemon in a Nuzlocke here before. Um, which you know, I've probably lost a Pokemon in Nuzlocke on like every route, but here I remember it specifically. I'm just gonna leave Stonky in front because we do get more experience if we leave him in front and then switch train. So we got this here hiker. What's happening, guy? Put my palm right on your face. Call that a face palm. Critical hit kills you, and he dead. Anyway, heck that guy up here. We've got a karate dude who's just marching around. What's up, guy? This karate man will pulverize you. <laughs> Who talks like that? This karate man. All right, back. Black belt Kyle has my chop. Nice. Young Cornopolis. You a real one if you remember Cornopolis. 
Um, I really wish that I could fight you, but I don't really have, uh... You can just acid spray you. I don't know why I used to faint before. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna acid spray you. Comes out of my mouth rather than my ass, but... Okay. Drop that spadef harshly. Nice. Oh, God. Okay. Zen Headbutt is like the only physical psychic move that I feel like we get from this thing. So, I don't know when that happened. Probably happened to like level freaking 65. But, you know. Alright. I'm a top dead in Kyle. You did not pulverize me. I still lack power. He's, <laughs> he sure do. He sure do. Down this way, there's definitely an item. We cannot rock climb there, unfortunately. And it's an X speed. Nothing like just fighting a guy just for an X speed that's going to live in my bag forever. Yeah, Psycho Cut is another one as well. Yeah, that's true. Forgot about Psycho Cut. I should have got some regular potions. Now that I think about it. Okay, another hiker. I like the I like the the sunset time in this game. This is nice. Also, so this will be a new route where we can catch a Pokemon in that grass over there. We'd love to see it. Hiker Jonathan. All right, John. Always got it. Man, the one day we'll find one day we'll find a hiker that has something other than just a Geodude or an Onix. And that will truly be the day. But not that day will not be today. That feel when your G Fuel is all gone. Sad people. See you later, Jonathan. We were starved for food and now we're starved for a win. Man, this guy is down bad. He's like, I'm literally starving. Please help me, child. We will smash this because it's no inconvenience. Tell you what, we just have a nice little uh, little bee doof come out of the way. At what point do they turn into the barrels smashing the things, or does it ever? I think it has to because you have to surf on the barrel, right? We we'll grab that there free Pokeball. Thank you very much. And uh, here we have a new area to catch something. Now this is some this is some different looking grass. Would you look at this grass? First thing we can catch here will be legal for the Nuzlocke. What's it gonna be? Give me a Mime Junior, please. Please? I don't really want Mime Jr. actually. It's a Psyduck! <laughs> okay. I do love me some Psyduck. That's actually cool. Um, he's just... You know, I was watching the the, um, the Pokemon anime, like the Indigo League season, and she's so mean to Psyduck. Poor Psyduck. Guy never gets any love. Uh, let's weaken this thing a little bit and let's catch ourselves a Psyduck. We do kind of need a water type on the team, since our lack of uh, Buizel these days. Here we go, Psyduck. I will be a great father to you. I will not be mean. Okay? Let's hope we get a good nature for this Psyduck. Come on now. Can we do catch it? Alright. I still maintain that Golduck should be freaking Psychic type, but they only didn't do it because there was too many Psychic types in Gen 1 already. Or Psychic was like OP. But man... If its usual headache worsens, it starts exhibiting odd powers. I can't remember doing so, however. <laughs> Poor guy. He ain't the smartest. He's just a little corn pop. He's our he's our little fella. Uh, we will add this to our party, uh, just because we like we like Psyduck. Uh, but who do I get rid of is the question. Hmm. Probably Raisin Bran. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Bran. You're you're uh, usually drawing the short stick there, buddy. All right, let's take a look at this fella. And see what nature we got on Corn Pops. Please be something good. Mild nature. All right, that's technically plus where we want. I mean to enter a super contest show, but beating you won't take long. What do you mean, lady? You were literally sitting here waiting, to, looking for someone to battle. Don't act like you weren't. This wasn't your plan, Aroma Lady Hannah. She do have a combi, and uh, this, this is actually the first combi we've seen. You know, we can check some honey trees later. Hopefully, get a female one. That would be nice. We'll give you a little sp we'll spray you once or twice. Just gotta spray the bee one more time. Exterminate that hoe, and he did male combi, one of the most useless guys of all time. Last Pokemon is a Roselia. We're just gonna stay in here and spray it. Nice little neutral spray, get that special defense and drop. It's still, you gotta play the long game here with this Stunky, but I tell you what, it's gonna be worth it one of these days. You're lucky I didn't bring out my Monferno. Consider yourself lucky. Your Roselia dead. Nice, look at these levels. Ooh, Calm Mind. That's not ideal for you. Man, pure power, calm mind, new meta. We're not going to teach that. All right, let's talk to this dude. I think he has a Smeargle, right? He's, oh, okay, I spooked him there. Let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. All right. 
French guy just out here painting. Um, he's got two Pokemon. Artist William, what do you got for me, buddy? Do he have a smear? Okay, Mime Jr. For some reason, it fits the vibe of this guy. Mime Jr. is probably like one of the the worst baby Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie, I think he's kind of cursed. But we kill, and then we have a Bonsly. No, he's just got a couple of babies instead. I love how Bon. Did you guys see Bonsly's butthole there for a, just for a moment, momentarily? He's got one down there. It's a little drainage hole. <laughs> see you later, Bonsly. Bonsly. Bonsly thought he was thought he was sly, but he wasn't. I swear I know how to talk. Um, and then down this way we got one other person. So I saw you hiding there. Don't say a word. Just take it. Oh, never mind. Just hands me a little little baggie of drugs, and we get an odd keystone. Wow, he just gives you the odd keystone there? Hey, that's pretty neat. Okay. <laughs> that's even better than drugs. I like it. Oh, this lady looking crazy. You can tell that you can you tell we're close to the contest areas because people like this. If you say hard home city, I only say that super contest shows. You can my darling Pokemon in them. Nice. Hard home city is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. Nice. And here we are in Hard Home City. Um, I feel like there's a rival thing coming up, but I don't remember really. I did not do the mansion in the spooky forest, actually, Zeb. That's a good call. I should probably go do that. Well, let's just continue over yonder. And oh, yep, is it is it Barry? That is sweet. No, it's just a, oh no, it's the Baneri. I remember this. This Baneri comes ice skating up. Hello. Lady, you gotta get your damn Buneary on a leash, alright? If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Buneary would have run. <laughs> Baby Buneary, back into the Pokeball you go. Yeah, you keep you keep better control of that thing. I'm Kira, Kira, Kyra. I'm a Super Contest Show Judge. Please drop, please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Alright, she heads out. See you. So, fond memories of this place. I do enjoy, I do enjoy this city. Um, we got some artists. It's 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 a, it's a hustling, bustling type of place. It's a pretty large city compared to the, you know, last ones we've been to. First things first, we're gonna heal and then let's do some exploring around, shall we? So first things first, what we're actually gonna do is go to the um, I think it's right here. Is this the Amity Square West Gate? Stroll with your Pokemon. Yes, we can finally do it, lads. We can walk with our Pokemon. I remember this in the old games where you could only, I uh, like. You could only actually walk with like certain Pokemon. It was like it was like ten Pokemon you could do, and they were like, "This thing's cute enough. You can bring it out," which was discrimination, damn it. Which Pokemon would you like to take a stroll together with? Um, I see you can only I can actually only do it with these two anyway. Corn Pops, you're coming out. I haven't even used you in battle, but whoa. Okay, your other Pokemon can go ahead of the square and play. What? Monferno? He's just gonna. He's like finally freedom. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the square. Have a great time. Okay, so we walk in. Come on, Psyduck, quick. <laughs> Look at him just skipping around. He's so happy. So he's got her hat penny. I came here with my hat penny every single day. Can let it run free without any worries at all. Wow, that's pretty neat. Um, Pika? Yeah, I didn't want to talk to the Pikachu. Shit. Hello? I actually talked to Psyduck too? Man. I... There we go. Just can't believe it. I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. Nice. Well, a Pokeball here. I don't. Whoa, Volt Switch. I definitely don't remember there being items in this place. Volt Switch is pretty sweet. Um, There's a nice little fountain. So I'm looking for the square wherever my freaking Monferno went. So here we got a TM45 for a tract. Never gonna use that. And uh, I like. I do. I think the the following animation is actually kind of nice. They. Oh, oh, there he is. What's up, guy? Hello. Pebbles is sniffing around the square. Okay. He do be sniffing. Why? Oh, now he's following. Now they're both following me. Check this out. <laughs> I love it. Which one has it? Is it this one? There it is. Amulet coin. Very nice. Increases the money that you get from trainer battles if you have that on the first Pokemon in your party. Can't use my bag in here, though. That's fine. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in here really, but it's basically just nice to be able to trigger the the walking, so that's cool. Monferno, come on, buddy. I'm feeling very refreshed, yes. Um, and I think you actually might get like more friendship from the Pokemon that's walking with you. I think I heard that, but I don't know. Um, anyway, we have the amulet coin. I should probably stick that on somebody just to just to get um, you know some more freaking monies. Where where is it? Amulet coin is a funny item because how does it really how does it work? Think about it. Like, 
You battle someone, and then they're like, ah, oh, damn, that guy's Pokemon had a coin. Now I gotta give you twice as much money. <laughs> Let's give the fist plate to Pebbles. There you go, buddy. Get yourself some, uh, some, some fisting action. All right, so we have the gym here. There's a whole bunch to do in this place. This guy's just admiring this lamp. He says, I love lamp. It's a nice lamp. Lived in a total... I lived in total seclusion up in the mountains for 30 years. Gonna clean up at some super contest shows and with the dance move I came up with. <laughs> I'm sorry, please excuse moi. Excuse moi, are you entering a super contest show? I Preferably not. Bentina, the hard home gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. You may ask yourself, how do I know this? Because it me. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. Okay. Um, we'll go in here. I think my mom's actually chilling in here. It's like the first time we've seen our mom in like a year. So we'll say like, hey, how's it going? Yes. My hero. Oh, hi. <laughs> what up? Oh, really, Johanna? Johanna's your mom? You might be a super contest show star. I don't know about that. Yeah, my mom's kind of a contest legend. Surprised you two know each other, though. Yes, that's right. And thank you for earlier. Please take this sticker. <laughs> Obtained one ethereal sticker C. Okay. Uh, place that sticker on one of, your uh, one of your ball capsules before a show. Lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show judge, so come join us for all kinds of fun. If you're unsure about yourself, we also offer practice sessions. I'll see you. What up, Mom? Were you surprised to see me? Kind of. Got bored, so I came out to Hard Home for a little vacation. Just surprised to see you here. Yeah, but are you serious about entering super contest shows? Not dressed that way. <gasps> We're going to get some... We, oh, we get the tuxedo right now, huh? Put this on for a little glamour. Obtained a tuxedo. <laughs> Yes. I'm sure it will look good on you after all. I chose it. Go enjoy the super contest shows, honey. Shows will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Um, so unfortunately, we don't wear the tuxedo until we're like in the contest. I don't want to do one. I don't think we have to either. So maybe I'm just going to leave for now. and come. I, we will do one later just because I do want to at least give it a whirl. But for now, we do some more exploring. I should probably check out some houses and stuff. Because I've kind of missed out on some items, I feel like, because I haven't talked to anybody. If mom's so famous, why aren't we rich? Seriously. When babies take naps, Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. Cool. You can change. Uh, you can change change clothes in this game, but I believe the tuxedo is just the like the contest thing. So. Dun, dun, dun. Hello. What's up, my dude? Hello, hello. How how I say? Do you do? <laughs> I'm the Pokemon fan club chairman. Indeed, yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what? I say, do you do? I may say so, and I will. I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why? I say, would I do that? Why do you talk like that, guy? Stop talking like that. Because the giving of Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin to the Pokemon, eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of Pokemon. In such ways, I say Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. Uh, we can make some poffins now. I've always wanted to eat po Pokemon poffins. They just sound appetizing. I urge you to fill it with poffins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. It's pretty funny. A, a food can make your Pokemon more cute or cool. Like what? <laughs> anyway, that was nice of that dude to give us that. What is this place? This is the poffin house. So, you know, we could take our newly found poffin thing over there. Uh, but this place looks interesting. Love the architecture around here. God, it's so blurry in here, though. Hello, are you getting married? And therefore, I, I do see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon the world. Okay, this guy's getting a little too deep for me. I like the I like the Mount Cornet thing, though. What's up? The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, desire to make something returns. In such a, one, in such a wondrous cycle. Man, this guy's spitting facts. Hello? Uh, that people are lonely is only natural. It gives me compassion for others. So it makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. These people are too philosophical in here. I'm going to bail. Except maybe... Hold well, on, we'll talk to this shawty real quick. Love and joy. Man, i got to get out of here. This place is kind of bumming me out. <laughs> what else is there to do in Hard Home? I'm just pushing my stunky around. Um, we got this house. Right next to the Pokemon Center. That's some prime real estate right there. What's up? Is it... Uh, is it you? Is it Baby? Or what was this lady's name? Um, you're the one who was battling those scary looking guys in Jubilife. I was really curious about you after that, so I went ahead and did a little research. And then, surprise, surprise, turns out you connected to the famous Professor Rowan. I've been going around defeating gym leaders too. Seriously, thought my eyes were going to pop out of my head. Sorry, there you go, run out of my mouth again. It's me, Baby. You remember me, don't you? I do, because you're on a freaking PC and you're like the PC person, so. You know those Pokemon boxes you've been using? I'm the system, as system administrator for them. Okay, I kind of 
thought you'd give me something, but man, they just got books on the ground. This lady is really, really doing the thing. She did a freaking background check on me, for real. Oh, Barry's here. Oh, God. What's up, G? Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Hayden. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here and right now. You're a trainer now. Expect to be uh, ready for battle. Yeah, I mean, I've been a trainer since you have. But am I acting like I'm the new guy? Man. What's up? So he has four Pokemon. We haven't battled Barry in a while. Uh, he still has just a freaking Starly. Why are you... Why are you... Really, Barry? You're the one talking shit on me, and you're still out here working with a Starly. Stunky got a butt face, by the way. Let's go uh, ahead and just bite it. And flinch it. Bite the burb. Easy to hit kill. Quick claw, Starly, new meta. <laughs> Am I supposed to get a Veilstone before I do that gym? Is that the case? <laughs> Eevee light, Starly. <laughs> we do not have a prediction currently. I mean, we could have ran around this, but... Oh, that's right, we do. We don't do this current gym first. We do the Veilstone, that's right. Oh, Prinplup, so he did evolve his, his Piplup. He's a prince now. Look at this little fella. Level 21. Um, I'm actually just gonna acid spray. And drop you a spadef. You're not, you're not uh, steel type yet, good sir. And does it have bubble beam though? Okay. Oh my god, that is a lot. Alright. Well, we're not going to stay in there. We did get a special defense drop. I'm just going to go right into Lucky Charms. It doesn't really matter that we got the special defense drop, but it will allow at least to... Uh, we should be able to kill it with Thunder Shock, so... Intimidate, wearing his sweet pants. Finplup said, damn, those are some pretty nice pants. I am now intimidated. Wow, okay, this thing's... This guy's Finplup kind of OP, not going to lie. Please do not crit me. Actually, this should just kill it. So. And he did. See you later, Plup. I do love the Piplup line, not gonna lie. There goes that little fella. A lot of experience for the lads. Corn Pops is 17. He's getting there. He's getting there. Next is Roselia. Okay. Everybody has a Roselia except for me. Seems a little worried about not being able to battle well. What the hell was that? <laughs> i just go right into Pebbles. Monferno's not been getting as, as much love as it used to these days, but... There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunities to use other mons around here. Freaking growth? Oh, jeez. He big. It'd be cool if, like, when Pokemon like that used growth, they actually stay bigger. Like, when you see Minimize, like a Grimer using Minimize, at some point he's just, like, a speck. Flame Wheel for the kill. Do not see this flower live in that. No siree. Mm -mm. TMs are not reusable in this game, but you do get multiples. Yeah, you can, you can actually buy them for pretty cheap, I've, I've heard. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, Ponyta, Barry did get his hands on a fire type. He's got a pretty well-rounded team. He's got that water, fire, grass core. And he's got that Starly. Man, this guy out here balling. Um, I'm just going to power up punch it a couple times and just call it a day. Yep. I still think it's overpowered that they give Monferno power up punch so early. Like, what the heck? He's like, uh-oh. This is, this is not looking good for me. This is not ideal. I'm just gonna kill you with a mock punch just because I can. Unnecessary priority, but he dead. And down goes the pony toss, so not too scary of a rival battle. But it's a needed experience. Pebbles at 26, nice. And try to learn faint. Um I mean it's not bad, but like actually no, it is pretty bad. <laughs> Being able to get through protect and detect is not really worth it when you have a 30 base power normal move, so. Alright. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Exactly. Precisely. You KO'd my team again. This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. <laughs> Seem to get tougher and keep winning one day. That's it. Gonna challenge the Veilstone gym next. See you later. Alright. So he bails. Um, I kind of forgot that that battle happened there. I thought that it was like over here by the gate. What's up, hiker? Do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the Pokemon Nursery in Salacian. Wanna take it? Sure. Freak yeah. You don't seem to have enough room for the egg. Well, man. Oh yeah, I am dumb. You can access the boxes anywhere. I feel like I did know that, but... Yeah, so I ran all the way over there for no reason! <laughs> I'm just trying to get Stunky to lose some freaking weight. Guy's too slow. Alright, sir, I will take your egg. Damn it, I accidentally... St okay, the Pokemon following me is already kind of annoying. Do you want a Pokemon egg? I sure do. I love how this guy's just like, I don't want this baby. You take it. Um, so it turns out this is actually a Happiny egg. Actually pretty cool. We'll take the Happiny egg. I'm not going to carry it around with me for now. 
Um, because I don't probably want to use that thing, but it's worth it to hatch for later. So, why not? Also, damn it, I need to heal before we go over that route. What's up, lady? There's a wrecked stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. Got me very curious. Hmm, what could it be? Let's see. Uh, so we get a, a new route here. Route 209, we can catch something here as well. Um, so we love when we can add new, new members to the squad. We love to see it. But also there's a breeder over here. This is a trainer class that we have not quite seen yet. Let's see what we got. Let me see how much you've raised your Pokemon. Okay. So this guy's gonna, you're gonna have just baby Pokemon because that's what, you know, that's what them breeders do. Albert, what do you got for me here? Pichu, perhaps? No, nope, Bonsly. Okay, we already seen one of them. Maybe just use the wrong, wrong move on a rock type. Dun, 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 dun. See you later, little pot. Next is Pichu, yay. We love killing Pichus, that's what we do around here. See ya. I am the baby slayer. <laughs> Corn pops to 18, getting usable. Can actually definitely use it. Zen headbutt, I wish I could give that to Special K. That would be nice. Um, but, I mean, we'll get rid of Fury Swipes, why not? We need to talk to 32 different NPCs in the ground underground, damn. Thanks for showing me your baby Pokemon. All right. Route 209 encounter, what are they going to give us? Is it going to be something new? Nope. But this is the first time actually seeing a Bibarel. We've got an evolved Bidoof here. Found a jar of honey. Nice. Okay, so... This guy over here, you give me a fishing rod, don't you? A good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. We're identi of identical minds. Take this good rod, hmm? And uh, he just, just stranger giving us his rod, which is actually nice because... For our route encounter, let's actually use the rod to see what we can fish up. We do need some more water types. We could use some more water types. Let's see what we end up fishing up here, boys. Come on, Goldeen. Oh, we got one, boys. Landed a Pokemon. Let's get him. It's Magikarp. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Honestly, could go for a Gyarados. If this is a nice nature, that'd be good. I can't say I've ever had Life Cereal, but it... Somehow seems fitting for Magikarp. Um, we're gonna send it to a box for now, but we we'll, might even end up switching out the the uh, the Psyduck for that thing. Probably because Gyarados is nice. Anyway, continuing on this route, we got dude Joggin. Do you jog every morning too? I think they only battle you at certain times of the day, right? Hello? I knew that I knew that you and your Pokemon, you and the Pokemon fan club chairman would hit it off. I'm so happy you became one of us. Please take this. These is a token of our friendship. Some flora stickers. Man, we're getting hella stickers now. Nice. Also some berries. We've got a good collection of stickers going. I'll wait till I get a few more and then we'll just absolutely pimp out some Pokeballs. Chest out berries. Pretty useful. We battle together. That's why we're tough. Also, there's the guy with the, Poke the, the Pikachu outfit back there. <laughs> Emma and Lil. You got a Bonsly and a Mime Jr. So many baby Pokemon on this route because we're getting to the town, obviously, where the, um, you know, where the breeders are, so. Kill the cupcake with a crit. Amazing. I guess you can't access the PC boxes in the gyms. That makes sense. If you accidentally touch your leg to another person's leg, you, uh, you can get them pomegranate. You can get them pomegranate. It's true. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, you're not. You're a furry. Damn it. It's actually just a little kid, so I feel bad now. And wouldn't you know it, she even has a Pikachu. Sayonara, Pika. So here we have the, um, the Spiritomb thing. We have the odd keystone. Seemed to be a spot that would be a perfect fit for the odd keystone. Now you're thinking, dang, I'm about to get Spiritomb right now this easy? No, it's not that easy. You apparently need to talk to, like, a ton of people in the, un like, NPCs in the underground, and then it unlocks the spirit tomb thing, I guess. The stone tower has been restored. Hollowed tower is written on it. So, uh, you have spirit tomb. Just kidding. Now, you have to go into the underground. You have to talk to, like, a ton of NPCs, and then you're good. So, maybe we'll, we'll come back for that later. Um, hey, look at this guy's got a ghastly out. What's up, dude? That's a statue. Did you find it underground? I've always wanted to see one of those. I'll give you these as my way of saying thanks. Three star stickers! Hell yeah. Thanks for the sticks, my dude. Um, we got some berries. We'll take the berries. 
the other Pikachu in the first season the anime has a sweet mohawk. Oh, true. I like how the Pokemon are out here. Wonder what's at the top of the Lost Tower. I'm very curious, but I'm also very scared. Ooh, spooky, huh? Um, so we got it's got some people to battle, but honestly, well, this guy looked like a that guy looked like a Baneri for me for a second there. That was kind of weird. Uh, so here we have the tower. It's about to get real spooky up in here, um, and this is where they are all dead. So we can um, get an encounter in this place as well. So that could be fun. Oh, this guy's guarding the item. Honestly, I didn't even see this kid there. Ghost, get away! Eek! Help me, team. I'm not a ghost, kid. Get out of here. All right, Oliver. Um, hey, look at this is actually another unique battle environment. This is cool. You can see the. Uh, why did it take me so long to get two attacks off? I'm confused. Either way, it's Donkey Dead. Psyduck, damn near barely won its first battle. <laughs> it's because its defense is low. There is a Cricketune. All right. Best cry in the game. You guys think Cricketune's gonna get a new form in Legends Arceus? If Cricketune gets a new form before Dunsparce, we all riot. Cricketune dead. Right, so our levels are getting pretty nice here. Um, Salazian does not have a gym. So we're kind of getting, you know, up there in levels. Freaking Shellos. Oliver, get hecked. I'm not a ghost, but still whooped that ass. This here is an oval stone. Nice little stone. Okay, first encounter in this place, probably going to be just a Zubat. Yeah. Do I even want to do this if I'm, like, struggling for, if, like, I'm not trying to be overleveled? I'll get in there. Oh, I have to go past the... <laughs> I have to go past the guy. Don't look, it up. Don't look over here, guy. Oh. Yeet. You don't need strength till after the sixth gem. Oh my god, it was just a revive. I can't even use that. God, the D-pad is impossible to use. Why do they make the D-pad so horrible? It's really so bad. Wow, there's a ton of trainers around here. We got a little double battle here. Probably should have put Psyduck up there with him. That's okay. Can't embarrass myself again, not in front of my girlfriend. <laughs> Time to absolutely ruin this man's relationship. Young couple Nat and Mike. I wonder if like Nat and Mike were just like a like an actual couple developers for Game Freak. And they're like, let's put us in the game. Mistrevis would be a cool encounter in here. I don't think that that's a thing, but I'd be love me some Mistrevis. That's actually a Pearl exclusive, if I remember correctly, right? Decides to go for the old Applejack this time, do you? Well, guess what? Now you're double teamed, homie. You lost your friend. Just you alone. Getting ganged up on. Poor fella. Thank you for that. I feel like it looks too light in here. It should be darker and scarier. Am I the only one that thinks that? Get the low sweep. Head back up yonder. And we've made it. So we've got these creepy grandmas here or whatever. Let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Take this. Got a cleanse tag. So that's a hold item you put on Pokemon to repel wild Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Which is that the only thing to do in here? Lost Towers where the spirits of the departed Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whom were very sh were short. All the departed Pokemon shall find solace here. It's good of you to have visited here. Take these technical machines. We get TM96s. Nice. What do you got? What is this? this is strength in the hidden moves app allows you to push large boulders out of your way. Use that hidden move strength in the field. Forgotten where exactly, but you must visit a Pokemon gym. Nice. Uh, so we can now strength some stuff. Those boulders are no longer going to be an issue until, I mean, I guess we got to get the gym badge to do it, but that's pretty nice. Actual encounter for this place is a Ghastly. All right. Nice. I love Ghastly. We'll probably add this thing to the team as well because yeah, I like using some new stuff. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Ghastly caught. Super cool. We all love us some Ghastly. You know, what a great Pokemon. Add that data to the Pokedex. Pokemon's body is 95% made up of gases. Pokemon can be blown away by strong gusts of wind. <laughs> he just dies if a gust comes. Boo Berry the Ghastly. Some Halloween themed cereals. Uh, let's add this thing to the party, shall we? 
Um, who are we swapping though? Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Muriel. Who do I swap? Captain Crunch, you're going away. Captain Crunch has been on the party for far too long. I want to see what Gassy looks like following me. Boom, 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 boom. Walk together. I am being chased by a fart. He's very slow though, so it's okay. <laughs> Cypher, thank you very much for the 14 months, my friend. I appreciate you. So here we are in Salacian. It is, uh, you know, pretty cool around here. We got the, the, the nice route to cycle and hatch eggs. There's a new route up that way. There's the unknown area over to the right. We've got the Pokemon Center. We're gonna go hatch a heal, and then we'll do some exploring. What's up, guy? I like the I like the way you look. Breathing in, breathing in this refreshing air. It even perks up Pokemon. That's why I'm out here. <laughs> nice. What is this? This is um. What is this thing? What I forget what this house is. Oh, welcome. You saw the notice outside about us hiring, right? No, I didn't actually. This is the one place I didn't look in. You must know about Professor Rowan. Uh, you're just the Pokemon surgeon expert we've been looking for. I want you to bring me a Piplup. You must bring it today or we're not going to be able to run... Wait, listen, I can't. I literally cannot physically get a Piplup unless I trade. That was rude of that guy. Hello? Every so often, eggs will be found at the Pokemon nursery. They're found uh, without anyone knowing how they got there. Is someone leaving them there? <laughs> no, they'd be fucking. So this is the daycare. Uh, I'm the Pokemon Nursery Man. We look after precious Pokemon of other trainers. If you'd like us to take care of your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. This little girl's like, hey, uh, these Pokemon are doing something weird in there. I, I saw a Ditto and a Wailord in there earlier, or a Skitty and a, and a Wailord, and I didn't like it. When I grow up, I want to work for the Pokemon Nursery. Shout out to Maryland, I think, had a video of that exact situation of like someone looking into the daycare and like, what, what, are, they, what are they doing? <laughs> Um, let's go up over this way. Let's get a new encounter on this route, shall we? Route 210, we can catch something new. Um, that could be fun. It's actually s stressing me out how slow you run in this grass. <laughs> Ooh, it's a Ponyta! Alright! <laughs> so, uh... Let's cowboy lasso this bad boy up. And, nice, a little backup fire type. We'd love to see it. And that's why we don't waste our time weakening Pokémon, boys. Yeehaw, boys! That, that the Ponyta is yeed his last haw, and now you're mine. I knew I'd get a Ponyta eventually. About an hour after birth, Ponyta's fiery mane and tail grow out, giving the Pokemon an impressive appearance. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Uh, Ponyta, what are we naming you? I feel like we're running out of cereals. Is there any cereals that I haven't used yet? Christ. I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to name it CTC Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Because <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch is too long. Okay, let's actually, I want to look at this thing's nature first. Shout out to CTC, for real though. That's my guy. Uh, so here, we had this, we got this Magikarp. Let's take a look at this thing's Magikarp. Preheat oven, please, I shall. Hardy nature Magikarp. Um, rash nature Ponyta. Not horrible. Kind of horrible. Not really, but you know. Why do they make the red one the stat that raises and the blue one go down? Like, that goes so opposite to everything I freaking, you know, think of. Do we need to send you a list of cereals? <laughs> Pretty much. And uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out this afternoon. It's been it's been wonderful. I'm actually having a great time playing this game. I will be back uh, likely same time tomorrow. So if you guys are around, make sure, you know, come and join me. <laughs> 